This is a much weighted video. I know I've had everyone literally message me on the daily being like, when are those sweaters out? When are the Sister Squad sweaters gonna be here? And I have personally never made sweaters before. I have never had to make anything custom made. And I just thought that it would be like a in and out process, but it ain't. So anyways, I'm here today to show you the sweaters. They will be ready. By the time this video goes up, everything will be launched and you'll be able to go and pick one up. I'm so excited! Really, really excited about today. Um, before I try the sweaters on, I just kind of want to let you know like why I'm doing this, how I did it. I just kind of want to be transparent with everyone. So the sweaters, um, basically, I had so many people message me being like, I wish there was more PCOS awareness, like no one knows anything, like this, 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 and that. And so I was like, I just wish there was like a cool logo. I wish there was like something that you could wear that was like representative of PCOS, but not like in your face. I didn't want like a huge brand, like, like this is what I have. I kind of wanted it to be like an inside thing. Like you're part of the squad. You got a sweater, you're in the squad. They are unisex, which I will explain when I try them on. Um, and I got that like fleecy material on the inside because I wanted them to be like snuggly. Then I was going to get Sister Squad printed on it, but then I just like didn't like the look. I tried some samples of that, of it being printed on, and I just didn't like the look. It looked quite cheap. Um, I know from experience, like even if I buy something from like Nike or whatever company it is, eventually, that printing like wears off in the wash and like wear and tear like it starts to fade or it peels off and it just looks like awful and then you end up throwing it out because it looks like the worst so i wanted to get it embroidered now embroidered versus printing is like a massive cost difference but to me i wanted something that lasted i wanted something that was going to be durable in the wash it wasn't going to fray it was like going to be there with you like for a very long time much longer than a printed shirt and so i decided to go with the embroidered look i also like how it looks better and so anyways i've put a lot of hard work into these sweaters to say the least um, and I just really hope that you like them. I'm gonna try them on for you. There are four colors and um, Yeah, they look good with jeans. They look good with your workout wear Like I've worn them to work with like cool dress pants and it being tucked in so here we go Okay, so this is the sister squad in black and just to give you a um kind of feel for the sizing. The sizing is unisex. So if you're like a woman small, like definitely get a small in the unisex because they are gonna run baggier than you normally will. If you are a woman's XL, I think it's safe to get a unisex large or if you still like are unsure, go with the XL, but they should fit you like slightly bigger than the size that you normally would get. So this is a size, well, okay. That one's a size. <laughs> <gasps> that's a size large um, and just to give you context in real life I usually wear a size small to medium in sweaters so I kind of wanted to do different sizes on me so you can kind of give it get a gist of like how the different sizes look so looks like this oh it's so nice so it's all embroidered in there and if like you turn it on the inside it's all custom embroidered, all safe. And then the material is that like fleecy, it's hard to pick up on camera, but it's that, like, that fleecy soft material. Um, so like super comfy, cozy, and then the outside is just cotton. There's like ribbed sleeves. So when you push it up, it kind of like bags up. And then the bottom is ribbed as well. I've had a girl be like, oh, I can't wait to buy it. And I'm just going to like cut it and make it into a crop. And I'm like, oh, genius. I didn't want to experiment on my own at the moment. 
but like yeah if you don't want it like long and baggy you could definitely chop it with a pair of scissors and it would be a really cool crop sweater so you do your thing it's your sweater and it's in a size large so unisex large so just to give you context how much space is there on my arms and that's how it looks like tucked out so this one's cool if you want that like oversized can we get it on camera yeah like an oversized kind of that's why i like this one because it's like a really big like wintry fall kind of sweater that you can wear out or to the gym or whatever like that and it kind of goes quite low that's this one here again like super baggy but when it's like tucked in it looks so nice like i just love the oversized look so yeah that's how it looks this one is a size medium so again you can see like that's my arm so you can see how big this is compared to my arm so it just depends on the sizing that you want but again sister squad right in the middle ribbed neck i wanted the crew neck and again like ribbed sleeves so you can tuck it in or tuck it out so with me i love tucking it in to my pants and then it just kind of falls like that i like love that so much so this is a pink in a size medium so unisex medium again the same size as the white but that is the pink so super baggy with the sleeves like tucked out and i just like kind of like foof them out like this and then yeah that's it without being tucked in and we're just gonna do a little uh, these pants keep falling little tuck and yeah again like super cash just going out with my friends wanted it to be like a super chill sweater now this is the only edition of all four that has different font so for this one i didn't want to put the font with the same coloring i wanted to do something a little bit different um so this one says sister squad and it's embroidered and it's in a script kind of font again same material on the inside same ribbed ribbed this is a size medium as well um but this one is like i don't know it's i don't know i just i love this font in the red so much this is again a size medium this is the white and yeah just like love that so much so yeah and that is the white sweaters are the only one with this script font all the other ones have the same um this is it tucked out with just a pair of black jeans or you can do the tuck which is like my fave that's how it looks there last color is this um gray color like this like ashy gray like ash what's the word they use for like salt and pepper no not salt and pepper it's just like an ashy kind of gray with the sister squad in white again in the middle so it's like that kind of gray like a salt and pepper kind of gray um and again like ribbed fluffy on the inside with ribbed now for context this is a size small and honestly i haven't even tried the small on but now looking at it i'm just like hmm Maybe I'll keep the small. Sweaters themselves though are from, and I'm sure everyone knows this brand, it's like the Gildan, or whatever it's called. We all know this brand. If you ever had to get like something customized ever, it's like usually the brand you go to. But just to show you standing out, this is just wearing a black pair of jeans, but you can wear whatever. This is the size small in gray. So that's how it looks from behind and the side. So it's like super baggy, as you can see, this is a size small. So unisex size small. And yeah, just like looks really cool, like tucked in. That's my favorite wear, way to wear it. Just like tuck it in the front and then kind of, ooh, nope. Tuck it in the front like that, and kind of pull it out. So these sweaters will be available on jessicadiana.com as of whenever this video is posted. So whenever I post this video, you can go right after this to go and get your sweater. Remember there are only a few they're all limited edition for now until there is like a proper demand and then i'll order more of a bulk order but for right now there's only a few of every size um so yeah get on that if you are not already please follow me on instagram at jessica Diana. i post stuff not all the time but often enough 
and I have a hashtag sister squad if anything you, you post is PCOS related please use that hashtag because it basically lets us all access that amazing PCOS content so yeah that's sister squad same as this and let me know oh I'm so excited for you guys to have these if you buy one um, I can't wait to ship them to you because I will be shipping to them to you myself and for you to rock them and we can all like take our cool pictures together but yeah I will see you all in my next vlog please like and subscribe because it really helps support my channel see ya